10 seconds. Hey guys, welcome back from the view from the dead box. Uh, same guys as last time, actually your hosts. Um, we actually had Jonathan on last time and he has a little bit more time. So we kind of want to touch into another subject that's kind of been bothering me f- for many years now, especially as of recently. Um, and I think it's kind of a elephant in the room subject that a lot of guys see and maybe not, they don't approach it or maybe they just, it's an unwritten like taboo word or taboo thing and they don't want to bring it up. Um, are paintball IDs a scam? Like, and yeah, that's absolutely. just the first thing. Sc- scam? I, 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 I believe they are. I, I understand why they're there because you do need to prove who you are so you don't have players jumping in and out. But who doesn't have some sort of personal identification on them already? I mean, you got your driver's license. You should have, a, or if you don't, you're going to have a state ID. So no, when it, you it's, go it's to not, check it's in, it's not about that at all. That. It's, it's absolutely not about that at all. It's about ranking system. That's all it's for. But okay, why but you can you, still be matched? Y- yeah, you can have your name, Jonathan McCormick. Let me see your uh, your your government issue ID. You know your military ID, your driver's license, so, uh, your library card. <laughs> One thing, there's a couple reasons they do it, and I I understand all the aspects of it. One, it's a money grab, hundred percent. Oh, oh yes. that, that that's it's the biggest grab. thing. And I'm not against having having the APA ID, and I'm not I'm I am not opposed to that at all. When I started playing, this is this is where I the sport needs to go back to. Um, one ID, guys, one ID. You buy an NXL ID or whoever. Maybe you buy the APPA ID. APPA ID. ID. I, yeah, APPA because because I don't out. want to buy the NXL ID and the money only goes to NXL. I do want to help out the MVPS. I want to help out the SPL. I want to help out all these other events that use these IDs. I want to give them their cut, right? But I don't I don't want to buy five IDs. I play a lot of paintball. My wife plays a lot of paintball. Like at the end of the year, I have to buy an MSXL ID, an NXL ID, an MVPS ID, an SPL ID. And that's just the four main leagues that I play. If I'm looking at 40 to 50 bucks per ID, I'm spending $200. If I'm buying her ID, you know, thank God she makes her own money, but I'm looking at another two hundred dollars. I'm spending four to five hundred bucks in IDs alone, yeah, dude. Season. That's that that that's, that's, that's and some of them you you may only play one event. One events, you know, so, some guys only play cup. Why can't we buy a sixty, seven hundred dollar a hundred? Say a hundred dollars per season per ID. That and it gets every single event that the APPA can do. I can do. You, yes, yes, no, I would agree. You use APPA as your primary uh, means of finding out ranking system, then boom, that money goes to the APPA and it's divvied out amongst, you know, whatever MVPS decides to use APPA, you know, you get a little bit cut here, you get a little cut there, hundred bucks a season, but it covers every single thing across California to Japan. If you use APPA, that's what you use. I agree. 100%. Because, because there's these events that only have, I don't know, a hundred players at, or the NXL is just raking in the money, laughing, just like monopolizing everything. And that's how yeah. I see it on the back end is these dudes are playing cup only. These there are, I think last year, I'm not, a, don't, don't quote me on this, but um, there were, I'm used to when their cup was around, there was 200 plus teams. I'm not really sure how many there were this yeah, year with all, all the divisions. 600 right? plus, I believe. Yeah. yeah. I'm not ex- exact numbers either, but yeah, cool. yeah. L- l- we'll just, we'll just say 500 I mean, teams. I'll look it up. You know what I mean? So, you know, for a 500 teams, dude, they are plowing people for the money for one event, which yeah. I'm fine with. That's fine. But if we, if we could make these IDs go for one series, like uh, you buy it from APPA and then all these big tournament series that like, let's say the top, I don't know, 50 series or a hundred series, whatever the big ones are, they all get a slice of the pie. Give them, give every single player who purchases an APPA ID, the, the MVPS gets $3 or $5 per player that buys that ID. Right. You know, and that's how it should be. So everybody gets a piece of the pie, man. Yeah. Everybody is getting the money. It only helps when the NXL is just raking in everybody's money, just laughing. <laughs> Well, not even it's, the NXL. I mean, they are, but like in general, like you said, I mean, it's, I don't want to bash any tournament series because most of them are run really well, but it's, in general, to me, they're just overpriced. 
Well, I yeah. Shouldn't, if you would just let me get, I mean, $100 for one, that's a real good idea too. But even if because you're whatever gonna spend league that. needs their own, I'm oh, yeah. going to end up spending it anyway. But so if yeah. they want to just, just lower the price to them. Let my yeah. NXL one be 30 or my other one be 20 and 20 and 20 and 20. But that's how it used to be. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, if you had I, a I PSP ID before. You had a PSP ID before. You could typically get into every it other. It was fifty series. bucks. It was fifty bucks, and that ID worked for everybody. And then if you wanted a, the my CFOA ID was twenty bucks, and my GFOA ID was twenty bucks, and my um, all you did was twenty dollars. And then if, at the beginning of the season, I'm like, dude, I know I'm gonna play Cup. I have to have an NXL ID. I'm just gonna buy the P, or PSP back then. I'm just gonna buy the PSP ID, and we're gonna be good all the way through all yeah. the series. So we're good. We're covered. But the problem is, is those small events aren't getting the money, um, which, which leads me to think, um, why is the NXL charging $2,500 entry fee per team? Yeah. Like, are you, are you out of your mind? There's teams, if they would drop the cost back, uh, especially in nowadays economy, if they would drop the cost back of these NXL uh, entries, you would have so many more teams come into play because – uh, the paint is at a great price. The paint is super cheap, right? Um, Cause they're, they're getting it there from all the vendors. They have to like make do with everybody that's there. Yep. But you know, I think, you know, what's, take, take a guess real quick. How many teams played World Cup? This time I think six fifty. A little high. A little high. Okay. Is it 500? Between 565 teams played okay. World Cup. Yeah. I guarantee out of those 565 teams, obviously, a lot of those teams are mix-ups of other teams that are playing because yeah. there's multiple divisions. There's multiple yes. uh, different formats. So, you know, I would say out of that, maybe 400 teams played World Cup, like prime. Yeah, but yeah. even with the mixing of players around. and this, so Even if there's 200 of uh, those uh, 500 teams that were there, that yeah. that was the only team they pl- the only event they played, you're talking about just, just roughly, so you're going to say 200 times 7. I'll say seven people, yeah, 1,400 people times 60. That's $85,000 the NXL made in IDs at World Cup. <laughs> 85K. <laughs> one of or the wrong rough, business, rough, boys. Rough, 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 rough. Oh, rough. yeah. I mean, that's completely but speculation on the numbers. But 85K yeah. for an ID yeah. card that you use one time you threw the trash? Hey, hold on. Hey, let's go a little bit deeper. Um, you want your wife to come and hang out in the pits? Oh, sorry, dude. Got to buy a forty, fifty dollar. Yeah. Yeah. What? She's not playing. She she doesn't need ranking. She just needs to get back there to tote my gear because yeah. I've been outside in a hundred and ten degree weather and I don't feel like totally home myself by myself. Yeah, it's gonna be fifty bucks. My mom wants to come watch. Yeah, it's fifty bucks too. So I have to buy a hundred and fifty dollars in IDs for this one event. Yeah. What, they're they're not players. I understand you don't want people running back there and, and mobbing the gear. But if I go buy a, 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 a uh, an ID, I can just go back there and steal as much gear as I want to. So I have pro players that just get random bums to fill pods. Yeah, yeah. those guys get in for free. But you know, no, you know, your yeah, wife, yeah. your wife, you know, has to pay fifty dollars to come in the pit. Well, I mean, two years See, ago, we're, I we're not we're not counting ID that. My in. dad just so he could get our pods, and yeah. he, Jamie had he to buy got three pods, and I'm like, okay, well. Whatever, that was a waste of fifty bucks. But they, they nice made back there. But they probably they made about a quarter million dollars last year on IDs. Just the with, NXL with all the people, with all the the family, all mm-hmm. the people are showing up to one event. Their buddies like hey, I, I just did one event. Fun. I just I just did World Cup. Five hundred sixty-five teams times six people. I'll say you know mix you know at least six because you, you do people. have the other events that people will only play Chicago or they'll only play yeah. Texas because that's where they are. So you know, it's not. I'm, I don't mind them making the money. That's fine. Make make two billion dollars. I don't care. But I, we need to look out for the players, guys. We can't yeah. we can't look out for the corporations that are that are like killing the industry. The NXL has slowly hurt a lot of the industry, and you see that with everybody. Like the vendors have slowly got down. Of you, I, I'm used to like seeing ten grand a booth. For a, no, not not a booth. A for a table. Tents, yeah, our table. Yeah. What, dude? I'm used to the days where we would walk into the dye tent, and it's still relatively big now, but. No, we. It was like twice it was a the semi size. truck. It was a semi truck. Yep. They had the semi truck that was open. And there were two windows, and yeah. they had a tech area, and then they had a. a it was monstrous. Yeah, you, you, you see how big clubs have those, and HK have those. That's yeah. it. That's the only three that have it. Everybody had that. 
Everybody. Yeah, it was normal. Drax just had it. G- oh, yeah. Everybody. Uh, I had it. Everybody had it. And it's great. It's only better. Pittman had it. And they only had yeah. one, they had one semi pro team. It wasn't even a pro team. You know, it's just, God, it, it's slowly killing the sport. It is just, it's, it's eating it from the inside because all these fees, you know, we look at uh, the smaller companies uh, like, like under or um, uh, what's the, what's the other company? Exalt. No, oh, Exalt. Yeah, Exalt. Yes. Yep. A great wow. company. The Exalt makes top notch stuff. Like they had a good price, but guess what? They had to spend $50,000 for the entire season to have like a, a medium sized booth. How what? does Ninja do that? Yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's, fan company, like you're 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 starving, and I understand. I don't know what these guys are making at events, man. And I'm sure they're making pretty good money. I mean, most of the stuff they they sell is retail. Uh, A lot of times, you know, they may sell a little bit of wholesale stuff, like 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 Ninja. You know, a couple times, you know, you've got to be a dealer. Yeah. But I mean, I I can't see them really making money at events, man. And that's that's really unfortunate because, like like you said, under like this season. Under has been a huge supporter of payball players and veterans across across all events ar- yeah. across the country, and Chris hasn't been able to put up a booth at World Cup or any event because it's too expensive. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And yeah. How is that fair? You know, you like the the guys look like look what he did with the masks. Yeah, dude, dude made six thousand masks for free. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's, I have one. I have one in the garage, man. It, yeah. it goes it goes to work with me every day. It's, I have it's to just, wear to work. It's just it's, it's crazy to me that yeah. that they are charging these absurd entry fees like i think uh what, what's what's d4 d3 x ball it's like 2200 dollars now yeah it's something like, that. like 1500 bucks yeah. dude i gotta spend 2200 dollars divided up between Six eight to ten, 10 people. people yeah i uh, say like eight, eight to ten right so let's say 10 people 250 and, bucks 250 bucks a person yep entry you're gonna spend you're gonna shoot 30 cases of paint if you if you move on a couple of times that's a thousand dollars Thousand bucks right there. Yep. You know, uh, airfare, hotel, flight, yep. hotel. Food. Two, typically two to three days. You're making these events just too expensive to play, guys. And you say, well, how come uh, Chicago only had eight teams in D three at five man? They would have seventy five if you didn't charge them. I think it's twelve hundred dollars or eleven hundred dollars. It's yeah, whatever, however it is. It's typically it's typically whatever the the. The format is it's almost two hundred dollars per person to play entry fee. So if you need the X ball, it's like two grand. If you need five people for the five man, it's a thousand dollars. That's the rule of thumb. Let it's me be, let me let me be the dickhead here. I, I want to be the dickhead. I play that role pretty well. I don't know what the cost the NXL to play these events. I don't know what the ID cost covers for a lot of the other events. And obviously, we understand why we have to have an ID process. Yeah, Jeremy Psalm. Yeah. Everybody knows what happened there, you know. With the freaking goat shout game. out, goat stuff, you know, dab on them. But you gotta have it, and the NXL chooses some pretty premier locations for a lot of these events, which cost yeah. money. I mean, oh, yeah. Texas, yeah, Texas Motor Speedway, um, Chicago used to be in Bolingbrook, which is in between houses, which was probably a pretty cheap event. World Cup, which is probably astronomical. So I can't say that they're raping because. I don't know what they're paying. And I know they're paying a lot. I know Tom, Brian Cole's paying a lot of money. Tom Cole? Tom Cole. Tom, Tom Cole. Tom, Tom, Tom Cole. Cole. Brian Cole. BC. Tom Cole's paying a lot of money out of pocket for what he you know, gets. And I'm sure he's making a wage. I get it. But it wasn't always like this. You know, I would rather them pick austere environments that are close to you know, nice stuff than choose super nice venues and charge out the ass for players to play when, you know, not a lot of teams can afford to play a whole series. Yeah, exactly. yeah, I think, I mean, the small series, do they need an ID card? You just played the CP. I played CPSL. And they did not have IDs. And- you just have an ID and you go, hey, this is my ID from every single series I've ever had. He didn't even look at that. He said, you got a driver's license or, a, or, a, uh, or you know, or, you know any, they'll use your FBA, military driver's license. Listen, it's not that serious. So solution, solution. This is what they do. You check in with your ID card, and they give you something. Yeah, even if it costs 20, 30 bucks. A you know what I mean? A choker, you know, <laughs> yeah. a ball gag, something crazy that says, hey, look, I'm checked in. This is who I am. Go check the, the, the desk. But what I, I, I mean, I have, like, go, go to the desk and check that I checked in with my teammate. But let's be honest. Uh, when's the last time you have had your ID checked on the field? I think I've had it once in 10 years. Uh, World Cup, we did last year. 
Last year they checked. Well, a lot of times they check it when you walk on the first. Judges, remember the Millennium refs? They were checking a lot. Yeah, I think they checked like three or four times that day. Um. So, so what? What? And how about before that? You don't really remember. It, 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 back in the day, it used to be a, like a really big thing. But yeah, so we're checking tanks for expiration dates. Yeah, yeah. I have dudes on, on my line that got tanks that have been out of hydro for three years. And I'm standing next to them, filling up, going, oh boy. Yeah, right next to my face. Like, oh my <laughs> God. It's going to explode. It's going to burst. I but, know. I mean, it's, I, it's one I, of those things. For sure. Like, yeah, back, back when I was playing uh, PSP 5 man, bruh, they checked your tank every time you went on the field because it was a big deal. But it's just not – it's not in the car. That's another topic, though. But regardless, the, the ID thing, I 100% agree why they have it. I, believe yeah, I mean, yes, I do too. You have to have some sort of identification. you got to consolidate it, boys. you got to take it all and put it into one and say, hey, look, even charge me 150 bucks a season. I don't care. But making me pay 50 to $60 every series – and but now it's even worse because there's like 50 series in the country. Yeah, back so then there was like CFOA, the- PSP, NPPL, NPPL. Yeah, there was like 10. Majors. But then, but back then it was still a big deal because the NPPL was separate and the PSP was separate. I have guys that have played for 10 years in the NPPL and they can come play the PSP for D6 beginner. <laughs> they don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't have any ID. How come we don't have a nationally syndicated like you know i say syndicated but nationally like number like like one two six five seven and it pulls up your id well, you that's, play that's PSP, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's not it's not do it doesn't do millennium uh does it yeah all right all right it does millennium but the ranking system is completely different in millennium than uh, it is okay. here they have guys that play semi-pro in uh millennium uh, that come to the here and they're ranked d Three or four. The, the yeah, system is completely yeah, it's completely different. But in PPL, I don't think it's like that anymore. I think that was a long. Yeah, you know, it's, it's still like that. It's still like that. The uh, the millennium is was completely different. But the MPL never had had its own system. They weren't on the same IDs because Frank has played a lot of MPL and has zero events on them. You play with MPL. I play MPL. Do you have any of those on your record right now? No. Mm. Oh. They're, they're not there. I know they're not there because I don't have I know. Them. I know Chucks is weird, too, with him coming from playing the Millennium Series. I've noticed yeah, he where he had have no it. ranking. And I was like, well, that's weird. Chucks told me about all these tournaments he's played. And yes. He has they no, don't exist. The so Millennium- I guess that makes sense. I thought they just got purged. That was what I assumed. Because I know no, I'm missing some of my events as well. That's weird because, yeah, all my MPV, I, I haven't even thought about that. They're not there, dude. I'm telling you. They, they, it wasn't the same system. Everybody says the APPA. I believe it was a different system. The APPA used its own ranking system. And that was some of the thing is the guys that played PL and played PSP, you had different IDs. So, you know. Interesting. It's, God, it's – it's So that would have been even worse, like you said, back in the day where you would have had your APPA one and then your NPPL, I guess. I mean, I don't know what it was called, but hmm. – Yeah, it's, you know, it's just different. But, I mean, I yeah, think – like most of my events from – they're all gone, dude. Them, they're not there. As I'm telling you, they're not. I've, I've already. I know everybody's that I, we play with. I know everybody's ranking. You know, they're not there. Yeah, all saying. my all my MPPL stuff's gone. It is. It's not there. You had your own your own ID. But the, uh, the coming back to the affordable PayPal series, some of these smaller events are getting very affordable. Like these, oh, we yeah. just PSL this weekend. Um, I don't know them. I'm not like I'm not uh, broadcasting for them, so they're, they're not paying me to say this, but. It was relatively cheap for entry fee. Uh, the paint was shot really well, and it was super cheap. Um, didn't have to buy IDs. Like that's why I found out about that event in the last minute, and was like, "Hey, uh, let's just go play it." It's like seventy bucks more than a practice would be typically. Well, Drive four hours, and we go play a practice. Well, that brings you back to it. If you don't, you would play more events too. If you didn't have yeah. to go, I, you could hop in and play this series. So. In a way, you give up the 50, 60 bucks for the ID, but you're going to take in the 250 from the team coming in. Yes. And you just bring in, so now you're going to bring two teams, and that covers the cost of what your IDs would have cost. Yep. So, like here, here, so here it is. It says, not to cut you off, but just so we're there. The MPPL is proud to announce the release of a new registration software program okay. website to manage and control team and player registration, player rankings, and other tournament data. That was 2011. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, 2011, yeah. MPPL separated from paintball players. That'll yeah. work. They yeah. said, "Hey, we're going to come out with our own." That's why, but you can't even look at it. Like, even if you go to yeah. the nat- national yeah. you go to the actual thing. 
it's a GoDaddy site. It doesn't even yeah. exist. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's, that's a hot mess there. Yeah. So, so there's... It's just, it's just, it's wild to me to think that these events are, they're like, oh, PayPal's dying in the NXL. And I keep bringing in NXL. I, I, I'm portraying them as like the monsters, but they're the biggest. They're like the, the father of and That's going to happen to any company that's kind of taken charge and taken lead. I mean, Mono- yeah. Monopoly calls. And not calls, in a but, bad way, but. Well, I mean, kind of. I mean, of, it but, happens. Um, I like the NXL. I, I mean, it's not bad, I guess. I've had my fair share of bad things with the NXL, but I feel that it should be like it, that should be what we all look up to Yeah. yeah. when you, when they are killing people left and right, I'm like, dude, you can't charge these teams $2,200 entry fee when they're paying $300 a person to fly there. Then a hundred dollars for a hotel room per night for two to three nights. You know, you play cup for X ball. You, you get there Wednesday or Thursday, you play Thursday, you play Friday. And sometimes you play Saturday. And if you're any good, you play Sunday. I have yep. to buy three, four nights, a hotel room, plus the flight there. Plus, you know, uh, dude, I'm spending, you know, oh, yeah. a dollars a person. Yeah. That's, that's insane. You know, but yeah. they're going to have to, they're going to have to figure out something, dude, something, yeah. something soon um, to help the player, especially with all this stuff going on. Now, granted the events aren't really, going off right now but if you want to bring the players back and you want to like look out for the player um start with your id start with the ids right and start with the entries so you're not you're not giving us prizes you're not giving us a million dollar prizes you're giving us like a voucher to play an eclipse that you probably made them pay for you anyways yeah you're using you know, their money for their uh, booth to pay you back and yeah say, ah, here you go because we took we taught we topped and uh what you call it in in 04 cup and they gave us like twenty five hundred dollars in vouchers i'm like vouchers like now granted it wasn't that expensive back then so it wasn't terrible but the, i think they still give a little bit of cash prize now and vouchers again or I, i'm not really sure how it's all cash now it's all cash now yeah but it's like, it's like pennies on the dollar you know, you, like, yeah, compared to what even, you what you will play yeah yeah, yeah well, I mean, you don't even, NXL, even cover. but the nxl doesn't cover isn't about paint it's about playing paintball. Like they don't get anything from the paint. That's, that's very true too. But, uh, but believe me, I know. I, I, we, not, see, we get what I you're saying. You, you're yeah. gonna tell me. You're gonna tell me that they're charging GI probably a hundred thousand dollars to come to that event with their truck. And they're making the sure, paint. Sure, because they're not that's, only are they making the paint, but they have product too. But I'm telling you, like their thought is, hey, this is your entry. You know, whatever you spend on paint is what you spend on paint. You play mechanical, you shoot five cases, or you play semi-pro and you shoot eight hundred yeah. cases. Who's, that's not my fault. You know, I'm going to provide it to you. I but mean, if, if your team okay, shoots, but you have to. If you want more teams, they're traveling. Like, oh, well, you should have played the whole series. I couldn't afford to spend a thousand dollars or twelve hundred dollars a person per event see, every three down, months. This comes down to layout too. And that's a completely other topic that we could talk about. You know, eventually, yeah. is that the layouts now are built for more paint. The the, the NXL is built now Scam. to get money out of you. That's all it is. They want more money out of you, and I understand it's a business. But scam. <laughs> Can you say it again for the people in the back, please? Yeah, it's, it's a it's a scam. Um, they're sleeping. So yeah, no, I, I understand. Ah, ID card. It makes me mad. It makes me mad. I, mad. I just feel like I agree. Yeah. Look after the player. You want to grow the sport because you know they want to grow the sport. Go to the sport. Help us out. Look out for us. We bring the, we're the players. Ones, so. We're the ones helping you. If we decide to make up our own event, which I do see there's a couple of events called like for the player that they're trying to do this. They're trying to drop the entry and drop the paint. Like they can do it. The MVPS is, is getting around to it. If the MVPS oh, yeah. could knock the case back to like $5, $10 or a case cheaper, which they definitely could, but they're not making a million dollars in the entry fee. So they have to make their money somewhere. Right. It's, it's not that bad, but yeah. you play the, you know, you, you want these teams to come and travel all over the world. People want to do it. People remember, want to you travel. Remember, yeah. remember the tournaments back in the day where you play entry and you bring your own paint. Yeah. Bring your own paint guys. I'm not bringing white box. You know what I'm saying? But you could, you want to bring $15 paint? Sure. No problem. But that was okay. Yeah. So Nazis, man. I guess in closing, game. work on your IDs, a little lower the cost. Help the players. players. Listen up. Help the players. We are your money. You want to make more money? Help us. We'll bring more people. We'll bring more teams. If I can only afford to put my, my main team in because you are charging too much for my other two teams that play a little bit, but not as serious as we do, but they want to experience World Cup and they want to experience maybe Richmond, Virginia, 
drop the entry fee and they'll come up and they'll enjoy that one big event. A couple hundred play. bucks. Really, it's what it comes down to. You drop it from 2000 to 1600 1500 nah, 500 $1, bucks? $1,000. Well, for five minutes. I don't know. I'm more right, right, I, think you could, I think you could get away with dropping two, 300 bucks. I think you'll see big yeah. improvements just with that. So I, I think just five, that five, 500 bucks, bare minimum. If you're bringing in 600 teams, so, so think about three, <laughs> look at the entry fee to World Cup. Think about, just, think like, about 300 bucks. Think about 300 bucks. You're talking about 10 cases of paint. Yeah. Yeah, you know, no. In retrospect. Listen, but and, but you, even if they started small, they said, "Hey, look, this year we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut entry fee back fifteen percent." Oh, that's what it put, that, it'll put the interest twenty five percent cut, bare minimum. It depends it's on the event. Much. It's not that much. You're still making fifteen hundred dollars on a D four X ball team. Well, you still gotta look at. You still have to look at the expenses. Like I, I don't think they just look how many. Just, I don't think they just shit out these numbers and said, "Hey, this is what we're gonna charge you." I no, think, that's exactly what they do. But, so, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think so either. Michael, like, you know what I'm talking about, man. Like, yeah, they're, they're, but but they, with they, they with the lower it. with lower entry fees is is more teams, right? So you're losing money on the front end, but you're making it on the back end. It's still it's, there. It's, it's, I mean, a lot of what we're doing here is speculating. We don't yeah, even know what they pay for land. That's what, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, like, like their their fees the could be astronomical. I mean, I listen. I've seen these numbers. Uh, <laughs> Damian Ryan has has put all these numbers out when he when he was going. Um, bananas and forth. yes right he put all these numbers out he had access to all these numbers knew what they paid knew what they paid the refs knew what they had for the fields you know it, dude for as much money as we're playing look at the fields we're playing on holes yeah. and and like this and like i'm like two grand i, I could go in my backyard and it's a better it's, field it's almost this. as if it, like people that don't know uh video games are making video games yeah it's like y'all, y'all play paintball yeah, I play on the field that was flat because I mean I know at least twenty areas around my area that we could set this whole thing up and I could slide for days on the same flat level land. But yeah. you gotta so take care of the players, guys. Take care. Help us out. That's what like, it is. Help us help. out. Hey guys, again, I appreciate uh, you guys having me on here. Oh, uh, you're not uh, coming back this time. You're done. You're, yeah, you're no not coming back. We're we're getting your ass out of here. <laughs> was yeah. it funny interruption? <laughs> Yeah, red flag. You're done. <laughs> yeah. it's it a good time with all those good conversations, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you everyone for listening, and uh, we'll hope you guys will check us out for the next one. See you guys. See ya.